Hi, I'm Michelle Qureshi, and this is where I share God's glory through our stories. Make sure you take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you can follow along. I'm going to tell you a personal story today about something that happened not too long ago where I was completely overwhelmed by anxiety to a point where it felt like a physical weight on my shoulders. And yet God met me there, interestingly enough, through my four-year-old daughter, who provided a message of hope that I am seen and I am cared for exactly where I am. This anxiety lasted for about two to three weeks, and I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint the source of it. And so I didn't even know what I needed. But even if I did know what I needed, I was so paralyzed that I couldn't even reach out for help. It's like I was physically paralyzed from picking up my phone and texting someone to pray for me. And even one Sunday, I was so incapacitated, I could not even get out of bed to go to church to be with the very community that would uplift me. Honestly, the only thing that I could do was say, Jesus, help. And my, my four-year-old daughter saw me during this time frame, and one day she looked in my face and just said, Mama, why are you sad? And I was honest with her. I said, I, uh, I am having such a hard time believing the truth. I'm hearing the enemy's voice in my head that's saying I'm not strong enough and I need to be worried. Her next response was, did you go to the prayer room today? We have a room set aside in our house that's strictly for prayer and worship. So she was referring to that. And I said, no, I, because I hadn't. And she said, let's pray right now. And even though I was still struggling, I felt a shift in the atmosphere. And I realized that God was using my daughter to journey alongside me when I didn't even have the strength to reach outside my own household. And Aya's responses redirected me toward hope. And why is that? Why did I have hope? For one thing, this reminder that I was worth the specific attention of God. He cared enough to give my four-year-old this unconventional observation to see me and see that I was not well. And this unconventional wisdom to have the right response for it. And on top of that, being seen, but also being met with compassion. She didn't bring any judgment. She just said, why are you sad? Let me help you take care of it. Let me bring you to an answer. Let me show you a way forward. I didn't have to perform. I didn't have to do the right thing or say the right prayers. I, I couldn't, even if I tried. I didn't even have to know what I needed. My daughter Aya was Jesus to me in that moment. The kind of Jesus that's described in Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The anxiety didn't go away right away. The weight was still very real. But I had the strength to endure another day because I had 
hope. I had hoped that I was seen, that I was worth the specific attention of God. I had hoped that he met me right where I was, apart from any performance, apart from anything that I did. He met me in my weakness with compassion. God used my daughter to remind me that I am seen and I am cared for exactly where I am. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you can follow along. And feel free to use the comment section below. Let me know how this video might have impacted you personally. And if you feel in your heart that you would like to give toward more videos like this, you can do so at my Patreon page. And I'll see you again soon.